So the second lecture of first module of review of medical physics is going to be about the atomic structure. The atom, atom is the basic building block of all the matter we see around ourselves and the structure is basically proposed by uh, the Rutherford Bohr model uh, which is uh, the outline how the atom exists and it states that the central part of an atom is the nucleus and it contains basically the neutrons and the protons whereas surrounding these are the electrons which are arranged in shells or orbits and this all of the mass is all concentrated within the central nucleus and uh, the electrons contain a very little mass as compared to the neutrons and protons. So here we come to the next image and you can have an idea now that the mass of proton and neutron is approximately 2000 times more than the electron. So the 1 AMU as we have seen in the last uh, lecture is about 1.66 into 10 to raise to power 27 a kilogram and one proton is approximately equal to one uh, amu and the charge is there is going to be no charge on neutron whereas the electron and protons have equal charges but opposite to each other so electron has minus 1.6 into 10 to raise to power minus, minus 19 coulombs whereas proton has 1.6 into 10 to raise to power minus uh, 19 coulomb but a positive charge so these three uh, f uh, effects should be remembered that electron has a very less mass but charge is equal to proton and proton and neutrons are almost equal in uh, weight a relative weight and both are approximately 1 amu whereas the charge on the electron this value is approximately the one we will be using for the electron volt as well as we discussed in the previous one so the this is an uh, image of nucleus where you can see the protons and neutrons arranged with each other and still just a simple revision that the mass of the proton is going to be one amu and one electronic ch positive charge whereas neutron mass is going to be one amu whereas there is going to be no charge on the neutrons so i would like to discuss the this graph which is uh, important from for the concept of how the nucleons are arranged in a nucleus uh, which are protons and neutrons so remember that uh, in our last lecture we we discussed that there is a for force which acts as a uh, in a short range force and that is known as strong nuclear force or strong interaction so what this force does is that if you so f for the understanding so at this point which is the 10 to raise to power minus 15 when the nucleons are a relatively uh, less distance than this uh, uh, value so they have a very strong force of attraction which obviously pulls them to each other but when the distance reduces and it goes up to 10 to raise to power minus 16 so then this force which is the strong nuclear force converts into a force of repulsion rather than attraction so if they are less in a distance than 10 to raise to power minus 15 they would be attracted to each other but as the distance reduces and it comes to 10 to raise to power minus 16 then the repulsion will start and they will repel each other and this is not dependent on the charge as this is going to happen uh, with the proton proton interaction proton neutron interaction and neutron neutron interaction and so the new these nucleons are uh, stable at approximately somewhere in the middle and that is 5 to 10 to raise to power minus 16 and approximately and sometime in this uh, area uh, there is going to be a 
uh, position where the nucleons are stable. So this is uh, different than the other force which is the electrostatic force of repulsion. So with regards to the electron shells, the innermost K is the K shell and it contains basically two electrons. Now the next one is going to be the L shell and L shell contains and L shell contains eight electrons and this number is derived to this formula where you can put the number of the orbit in this uh, in the place of n and you can calculate how much electrons that shell can contain so in likewise now the m shell is going to contain 18 uh, electrons uh, the second most important thing is that uh, all the shells except the k shell contains more than one subshell so you can see that in this one you can see that the there are two subshells of l uh, which contains a different number of electrons uh, now we come to the symbol of atom and uh, the x is the unique number which is different for every element and say for example for carbon we will be using c and the a is the mass number which is going to be the number of proton plus neutrons whereas the z number is going to be the atomic number which is going to be number of protons okay so so uh, keeping this in mind we can have same z number with different a number like if we have carbon uh, 12 it's going to be 6 z number whereas it's going to contain 6 protons and 6 neutrons so it's going to be 12 over here but if it is carbon 14 then z is going to stay the same obviously it's going to be 6 whereas the a is going to be changed from 12 to 14 as now the number of neutrons have increased whereas the number of protons has remained stable so just to remind that the electron structure uh, or the uh, structure of the orbits and uh, organization of the electron is the most important factor which will determine the chemical properties of the any uh, of any element and periodic table formation is based on this electronic structure of the atoms and they organize it according to the atomic structure, uh, the electron structures.